Hi and welcome to the wonderful world of trading. My name is Karis Wichidi and today I'm going to be showing you how easy and exciting it is to actually automate your trading with TradeSupreme.ai. Fantastic stuff. So as you can see, I'm already at the script generator. Here I am over here. How did I get here? You need to scroll to the bottom of the website, go to the site map and click on to script generator. Fantastic. It's going to take you to this page over here and we're going to start with the cooking. So what is the first thing that we need to do? First thing we need to describe or we need to identify which platform are we going to be using? Is it a script that is going to be on MetaTrader? Is it going to be on TradingView? Or is it, on gonna, is, it, is it going to be on Backtester? You know, so depending on where you're going to be building, that's where you need to define. So for example, PineScript is for MetaTrader. I like PineScript. I'm going to be using PineScript for this video. Uh, but if you're interested or you prefer to trade for MetaTrader, uh, you can uh, click over here and get your script made in python all right fantastic so after that we need to give a bit of we need, we need to give a bit of uh, parameters to the ai so that it can have an understanding of what tools are going to be used in the strategy is it a or like trade styles even you know is it a, is it a day trading strategy is it scalping are we going to be using some moving averages are they tra the trend line breakouts for the for, for, for the purpose of this video we're going to be using a cost uh, a cost a dollar cost average you see so a dollar cost average is basically we're going to be having a set lot size and we're going to be entering the market with this set lot size and it's a matter of like you know making sure that we're having like stability you know like uh, if we can maybe know about the lot size itself then we can more or less try to manage the risk to a, a degree you know so i don't want this ai making crazy crazy numbers so now we got to the meat of the equation which is basically us describing to this machine or what the strategy entails keep in mind the dollar cost average is talking about more or less risk management and we are trying to you know we need to also something that's going to trigger you know before the managing of the risk so you know so for j j j just for the purpose of this uh, to keep it simple i'm going to be using macd so let's say create MACD strategy using dollar cost average for risk management and take buy when the signal line crosses with the Mac D. So this is like the most basic of trading strategies. You know, when we're talking about a basic trading strategy is the first thing I learned when I started trading was basically this every time the signal line crosses the Mac D it means something every time the MACD causes the signal line it means something so i'm going to ask the ai to create a strategy based on the macd indicator and then uh, we're going to see what we what we're getting we need to give a bit more information for reasons of entry uh, let's say make lot size for each trade 0 0.5 and place and place Stop loss uh, fifty pips away from the entry and place take profit one hundred and fifty pips. fantastic stuff i think we've covered everything and i just said some typos here and there let me just work on this um so yeah the, the whole idea is to have more of a st statistical approach to trading and i think ai gives a very good you know advantage in terms of like analytical data it can an analyze a large amount of data and then be able to actually give you some very very good um you know information so as you can see we've pressed on generate script it has cooked something for us here over here 
you click on to download once the script is downloaded we shift on over here as you can see here the script and we're going to copy everything copy this and we're going to jump on to the back tester so the most important thing is you don't just um, assume that because it's ai and it's going to be perfect you're going to come across some errors and one of the most common errors that we come across is some syntax or some characters not being defined these are problem these are problems that ai also has um, you know the ability to actually fix and you go through more or less the back and forth with the ai and try to find like these solutions and as you can see i was back testing some other strategy over here and i'm gonna just check it like this and we're gonna go to the pine editor so once you get to trading view uh, look for the pine editor and place it over here oh my what did i want to write down place what we have downloaded from over here from over here and we placed it over here and we're gonna update the chart and as you can see it's giving us some data over here we're gonna go to the pine editor and yeah the strategy tester we go to the strategy test and as you can see this is the performance of the strategy itself not very exciting but the, the cool thing is that we didn't get any sort of errors so if we were to get any sort of errors we'd have to go back to the to trade supreme.ai and make some modifications to this text and include the errors there so that this can actually avoid the errors and then it's going to print out a new script then you take the new script and do the same procedure again and paste it by the pine editor and run it again so that you don't get any sort of errors uh, once you see this back tester with the results that means that the script is functional which is a good thing and once it's functional then we can make some improvements to it so that we can turn this uh, dd2 into something a bit more better or exciting you know so we're gonna go back to maybe let's say we we go back to here and look at some of the values so keep in mind i don't have any sort of prior knowledge but i know that these values over here have an, a big effect on the outcome of this whole thing so i know that even a small change as a number here they can make a significant difference so as you can see before i start making some changes let's take a look let me hold on uh i took uh, the, the strategy took around about 380 trades and the profit percentage around about uh 32 you know and yeah these are the factors has some drawdown and there's a lot of work to be done with the strategy so we're going to go back to the pine editor over here and we're going to maybe take it down to make maybe take it up to like 35 on this input over here see maybe we can get a different outcome back to the strategy and aha voila exciting stuff and as you can see we've 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 made a simple change of numbers from 12 which it was initially uh, when we had input of 12 it gave us a win rate of it gave us a win rate of 32 and uh, we made the change to 35 and now we have a win rate of 60 64 but we can see that this strategy over here you know it has some good and then after that it has some major drawdowns over there so these are the improvements that we're going to be making but from just the change in value we can see a very big difference you know so maybe let's try maybe let me try 70 maybe let me try 70 let me let me try um let me try let me let me try 52 let me try 52 okay uh okay it says 552 let's try and see if we can get it with a, a ridiculous number like 50, 52 and let's see what is it saying on the strategy tester and yeah we're still getting some positive numbers here uh let's see if we can maybe change maybe if it's it's on the four hour maybe let's try to make it a bit more faster let's put it on let's see if we can make one minute strategy let's see wow wow would you look at that exciting stuff so now as you can see we've shifted the strategy from trading on the four hour and we've shifted it to the one minute and as you can see a major big difference in terms of the outcome over here and it's actually making some money and we went from making 380 trades we made 396 and the profit percentage that's 70.71 which is exciting and with the profit factor of 1.1.26 
and yeah as you can see uh, the strategy is actually quite exciting because now it's showing that it's a profitable strategy so now what you'd be doing from here you'd be dry running it on like let's say a demo account and when you're more confident in it you will be able to put some actual money on it but you know the whole concept of me uh, i'm not i'm not i'm not actually giving any sort of financial advice and just to wrap this video up before my before my computer dies uh, i'm not giving any sort of financial advice and as a disclaimer um trading does involve risk and this is basically a tool that helps you more or less have a statistical advantage towards trading it is not telling you to trade and take positions it's not giving you advice and you should make decisions on your investment based on your own accord um, this is trade supreme is basically a tool that's going to help you automate your trading so that you can have a better understanding of your uh, trading itself i hope this video helps everybody and uh, thanks for being with me up to this point please drop a like or a follow and yeah and see you guys next time